guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, John, AKA Lather Hog. Today, I have for you another list. We'll be talking about my top eight shaving soaps for 2021. Now these top eight are based on performance and also my personal preferences. Although these soaps are all unique, they do share some similar qualities, which I just really enjoy for my shaving purposes. They yield a low volume or low structure lather, are quite dense and creamy, and have excellent slickness and post-shave properties. Post-shave properties, that's a lot of peas. Anyhow, these soaps are just plain fun to lather. So if you are a wet shaving hobbyist or enthusiast, uh, I really recommend you know just trying out at the very least any one of these soaps. For the regular viewers of the channel, this will mimic my shave soap tier list and all these eight are in my S tier currently. For those of you who have no idea what I'm talking about, I'll be sure to leave a link in the description below describing what the shave soap tier list is. You'll also be able to make your very own shave soap tier list if you want to and share it with your loved ones. Now, before we get into it, a quick disclaimer, this list is in no particular order. Also, this list is my own. You might have a different list. You might have different preferences. I can't stress enough that this is my personal top eight, but if you have a different list, if you have some overlapping choices, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Now, without further ado, let's get into the top eight. So the first one I wanted to talk about is a new artisan for 2021, and this is none other than Lothar Grooming. Lothar Grooming is based in the UK. It is a tallow-based soap, and when it hit the market, it really hit the ground running. From what I've seen on social media posts and videos, they have made a lot of people's lists for best of or best new artisan. Now I will mention that some folks do have a problem with some of the ingredients that are included in this formula, but I personally have no issue with it. In fact, I find it performs wonderfully. Over the course of this past year, there was a formula change, so it's currently in a V2 base. Uh, I don't think anything, any new ingredients were introduced it was just a matter of a ratio change so uh, yeah check out what scents they have because uh, this is one that you may not have tried out because you know they are so new but I think it's definitely worth your time next up is another soap that I recently bumped up from the A tier to the S tier and that is House of Mammoth Tusk Tusk is the name of the tallow based shave soap for House of Mammoth and you will find that some of the artisans, many of the artisans have nicknames for the soap formulations. Given how long some of the artisans have been around, it's probably better than calling it like V112, 113, 114. To move away from limited quantity drops, House of Mammoth partnered with Chicago Grooming Company this past year, basically handed over their soap-based formula and has Chicago Grooming Company doing all the actual soap making. I was very excited for this move as it meant more people could get their hands on House of Mammoth and that it wasn't this really scarce product that I was really hard to find. Overall, a wonderful soap with many unique and interesting scents. So again, that one was House of Mammoth, Tusk. Next up at the number six spot, we have from Declaration Grooming, Milk Steak. Declaration Grooming is one of the staples in my collection. It's one that I go back to time and time again. Uh, this shave soap leans on the softer side, so do be careful uh, if you are a tub loader like me. Also, Declaration Grooming has original scents, but they also have wonderful collaborations like this one, 1904, with Chateau and Luke's. So there's a wealth of options to try this soap in. And although it hasn't been updated, I don't think in the past year, it's still one that I find myself going to again and again. So again, Declaration Grooming, Milk Steak. Next up we have from Holy Cow, Sierra. Now Sierra is the tallow offering from Holy Cow. Well, this is a topic I'd love to explore in future videos. Uh, certain shave soaps have stronger base scents, or sometimes people say base funk. Whichever term you use, that base scent can sometimes interfere with the actual scent of the shave soap. So early on when Sierra first came out, I definitely had experienced significant base scenting, but I've been told that in the more recent releases that the base scent issues have been addressed. Again, this is an issue for some, not for everyone, but I count that as good news because Sierra actually is a really great soap. And also just an honorable mention that Holy Cow also has an excellent vegan soap base. So if that's more your pace of things, uh, give that one a try as well. We're about halfway through the list, and if you're enjoying the video, please be sure to hit that like button. Also, if you haven't done so already, please consider becoming a subscriber and don't miss out on any new videos. Next up at number four, I have for you Zingari Man, the latest vegan formula. 
Now for this one, I don't think the latest vegan base has a nickname like some of the other ones. Uh, all I can say is that it is, it is very good. It is probably the best vegan base I have currently tried. There are a, one or two vegan bases that have recently come out that I have my eye on, but that's gonna have to wait for the 2022 list. As I'm looking at the soap tubs in front of me, this is actually the only vegan soap on the list. And really, in a blind test, you're not gonna be able to tell. I don't think, I really don't think anyone's gonna be able to tell uh, this is vegan or tallow. I mean, shave soaps in general have come so far in these past two, three years. And I think it's great. It's great that uh, those who um, you know want a vegan product can get something that's just as good, probably better than some tallow offerings. This particular one is a collaboration with Rirana Parfum, and in general, Zingari has been working with a number of different people on scents. So it's very exciting to see what they're coming out with. Uh, there's one newer one with Rirana called Blackwood, which is actually a dead ringer for Tom Ford Oudwood, if anyone's interested in that. See, even in a shave soap list, I can't help talking about scents. So my apologies, but Zingari man, Vegan formula, quite excellent. Next up at number three, we have from Murphy and McNeil, Kodiak. And Kodiak is the bare tallow based formula from Murphy and McNeil. This is one that is sometimes a little bit limited quantity. Because the bare tallow can be hard to source at times, you will find that sometimes uh, certain releases, special releases uh, that come out from Murphy and McNeil will start out in the Kodiak base but they do transition into another tallow base over time. However, the Kodiak base, if you've never tried it before, definitely should be on your list. I do find it to be a very creamy, easy to work with base. It's one of those where I've definitely on camera said, I'm, I'm just having a great time lathering it and could just keep on going. I do apologize if I'm sounding like a broken record, but give this one a try. It's definitely worth your time. Kodiak base, Murphy and McNeil. Next up at number two, it was a bit hard narrowing it down, but we are talking about Ariane and Evans Kaizen 2. The other contender from A&E was the vegan shaving butter, which uh, I feel like I've sung the praises of many times. That one can be an honorary mention if you want to consider it that way, but I did try to do you know one artisan per slot. So Kaizen 2, and is always innovating. Uh, sometimes I feel like the pace might be a little too fast for me personally, as far as formulation changes, but um, I can't really knock an artisan, you know, for always trying to improve, especially when that's what Kaizen means. Kaizen 2 is a tallow-based soap. It's one that I never have to worry about the slickness with, no matter what razor I use. Overall, a really great soap. Again, Kaizen 2 from Ariana and Evans. And last but not least, at number one, all of remember, ranking doesn't really matter here. Uh, we're talking about Omnibus from Barrister and Man. And Omnibus is one that I just tried recently. Uh, this was my Christmas Eve shave. It was a wonderful experience. Barrister and Man has always had a high bar as far as performance goes, and Omnibus is no different. One thing I noted when I used it recently was the super long ingredient list. That's something for you to check out if you want some light reading. Maybe you're having a hard time going to sleep. Either way, whatever is in this soap is excellent. It took me a little bit of time to finally try it after its initial release, but I'm so glad I finally did. So again, talking about Omnibus from Barrister and Man. And that's my top eight shaving soaps for 2021. Was your favorite on my list? Do you agree or disagree? Let me know in the comments below. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in to today's video and hope to catch you next time. Take care. Today's video was made possible in part by our wonderful patrons. For more information about our Patreon, check out patreon.com slash lather talk. You can also check out our Etsy store and pick up a comfy lather talk t-shirt or coffee mug. Find all the links down below.